This cold favoring serum just cost $15 and promises to be a high-tech peptide powerhouse. But what's really inside? Can an indie brand like yours formulate a similar advanced product? Today, I'm really excited to bring down the list of ingredients, the science, and the truths behind this hype so you can learn how to formulate smartly and market honestly. The ordinary brand just disrupted the skincare market by offering a simple science-based product at an affordable price. One of the most popular formula is the Buffett Serum, now marketed as the multi-peptide plus hyaluronic acid serum. It combines multiple peptides, amino acids, and hyaluronic acid, as they claim, target the sign of aging and promote hydration. Quick reminder for those who have not watched yet any of my videos in this list of ingredient deciphering series. INCI stands for International Nomenclature for Cosmetic Ingredients, so that means that whether you buy your ingredients in Tokyo, Milano, or Paris, the ingredients will be listed the same way. The ingredients are listed in the descending order of concentration and the first ingredient is usually 60% of the product and the five first ingredients are usually 80 to 90% of your project but the plot twist is for the ingredients that are below 1% the brands can list them in whatever order they want that's often where marketing hides okay for this perfect serum what are the five first ingredients so first we will find water which is the base of most skincare products second we will find glycerin a powerful humic tent third a lactococcus ferment lysate which is a probiotic ingredient. So far, we like that. Fourth, copper tripeptide one, a potent peptide. And the fifth one, the acetyl hexapeptide eight. So those five first ingredients make up the majority of the formula and define its core function. Another really important ingredient, if you claim hydration for your product, is hyaluronic acid, right? It is in the name of the product. Here we have a derivative of hyaluronic acid, which is sodium hyaluronate. And we also have pentylene glycol, which is a solvent and a preservative booster. But as you can see in the list, both are really further down, which means that they are in way smaller amount compared to the five first ingredients. Understanding the order and the role of the ingredients in the list helps you grasp what the product delivers and how it works. Now, let's deep dive into the active of this formulation. First, the peptides in the name. We have to look at them. So as I mentioned, there is this copper tripe peptide one and the acetyl hexapeptide 8. But there are also others. And all those peptides act as small protein fragments that can signal to the skin cells to boost the collagen production, to support repair, and to reduce wrinkles. But of course, their effectiveness depends on the concentration and the stability of the formulation. Now, the lactococcus ferment lysate, which is a probiotic-derived ingredient that soothes and supports the skin barrier your health. Next, the sodium hyaluronate, a derivative of the hyaluronic acid, is the hydration superstar because it can help up to a thousand times its weight in water. This is how it helps the skin to look plumper, to improve the skin texture and the moisture levels. Another interesting active is the glycerin, which is a classic humectant that attracts and contains the moisture in the skin. And finally, the pentylene glycol, which acts as a solvent, but also a preservative booster to help the formulation stability. On the paper, all these active ingredients are amazing. I mean, this list is quite promising, but peptides and probiotics like that are quite costly. So how a product like that can be on the cheaper side of the skincare product prices? A way is just to balance the formula with multiple actives that can be way cheaper and play with the concentration to keep the product affordable. Indeed, as you can see for this product, the base of the product is water and glycerin. They are inexpensive but effective. This watered down the formula and may limit drastic visible results, but still this formulation provides skin support benefits. The other way to cut costs is having a great packaging strategy. You can see that the brand Ordinary has the simplest packaging, really simple but functional, and it is proven that minimalist packaging is loved by a part of the consumers because it can make them feel that the formulation is as minimalist and simple as the packaging with no unnecessary fluff. Compared to the luxury
luxury moisturizer from La Mer that cost more than a hundred dollars that I have reviewed in my previous video. This ordinary Buffett serum offer a cost effective option, but there may be a trade off regarding the potency and complexity of the formulation. So what are the four lessons that an indie brand can extract from the ordinary brand? Transparency is powerful. The ordinary clear list of ingredients allow affordable pricing and build trust. Active ingredients matters. Yes, of course, especially for marketing, but concentration is key. If you can use the simplest base, for example, water or glycerin, because they are effective even if they are cheap. This way, you will not have to put higher concentration of ingredients that may cost more. And last, marketing versus science. What should we do here? I would advise to avoid overhyping complex ingredients. Focus on meaningful formulation that your consumers can trust. So is this ordinary Buffett serum a miracle? Well, not really, but it is a smart, affordable formulation that can deliver hydration and peptides that support skin health and anti-aging claiming. If you like this type of formulation deep dives, check out the other videos from my mini series.